at the state capitol, lawmakers are looking into the idea of getting rid of those red light cameras. It comes after a KXAN investigation. It found nearly every single city in the state of Texas with a red light camera issuing tickets. They're doing so illegally. Including Austin. City of Austin, though, does not have the legally required engineering study for that and still didn't get it done after our report aired. Candy Rodriguez live this morning in one of the most ticketed spots in the city with more. Good morning. John and Sally, good morning. And that area would be right here at the intersection of I-35 and 11th Street. City court records show more than 30,000 tickets have come from these cameras. In total, there are nine red light camera intersections throughout the city, three of them within a mile here on the service road of I-35. And some of you might not even notice them, but they are here and they are active. Many of us have been there. We think we're going to make it through the intersection and then bam, the light turns red and a flash lights up your windshield. I've, I've gotten a ticket going through a red light before. In the last decade, red light cameras in Austin have generated nearly 100,000 tickets. The fine, $75. And I think their only purpose they serve is trying to increase revenue. While Richard Nolan says he's never received a ticket, he wants to see them taken down. No red light cameras. Tom Thibodeau, who got a ticket, believes it has helped him become a better driver. I think, well, speeders are deterred from speeding. It's a natural determinant. It's deterrent. It's, uh, it's not invasive. Yeah, I like them. I say keep them. I don't see a problem with it. Others not sure how they feel. That doesn't bother me. I mean, I think they're okay, but, you know, to get rid of them, that's all right. A city audit found the red light cameras are working, though, and cut down on the number of crashes. The first year the cameras went up, the city gave out nearly 3,500 tickets. Last year, more than 13,000. Again, today, lawmakers will meet to discuss the future of these red light cameras and if it's time to turn them off across the Lone Star State. But it is important to know, John and Sally, that past attempts to ban these cameras have failed. Back to you. All right, Candy, thank you very much. Now, the KXAN investigation became the center of attention last fall when lawyers stood before the state Supreme Court fighting to win refunds from red light camera fines for millions of Texas drivers after the city of Willis issued those tickets illegally. They failed to perform the same engineering studies required under Texas law. No word yet, though, when the Supreme Court is going to make its ruling. But cities are required to have those studies before they can install even a single red light camera. And during our investigation, out of 50 cities that responded to the open request information that we wanted, only three appear to have performed the required engineering testing. And according to figures from the Texas Comptroller's Office, cities have netted around 537 million dollars from red light camera tickets since 2008. And despite the Austin red light cameras generating more than seven million dollars in fines, what we found is a 90 percent of that money goes back to the camera companies. The state then collects half of what's left, meaning the city of Austin only gets about fifty six thousand dollars a year in red light revenue. The city says they put that money to use with transportation projects.